Why the F-111 Aardvark was a true legend by jet fighter assassin a shotgun marriage between competing Air Force and Navy requirements gave rise to the General Dynamics F-111 Aardvark, a low-altitude strike aircraft with Defense Secretary McNamara serving as the bridegroom. Troubled conception Despite its difficult youth, it developed into a capable, high-tech night bomber that served for decades and was praised for its svelte, elegant profile. The Air Force realized in the early 1960s that new radar-guided surface-to-air missiles such as the Soviet SA-2 could reach its slow high-altitude bombers. As a result, it developed a new concept a smaller long-range supersonic bomber capable of flying close to the ground and below radar system. Revolutionary Design the F-111 is powered by two powerful yet efficient TF-30 turbofan engines with new afterburner technology. A large fuselage could hold up to 31,000 pounds of bombs and fuel for missions of up to 25 miles with external tanks adding another 1,000 miles. The large plane weighed more than twice as much empty as it did loaded. The designers of the F-111 faced a difficult task. They needed a plane that could fly at high speeds while still taking off and landing on a short runway. Smaller wings would produce less drag allowing the aircraft to fly faster, but they would also produce less lift requiring the aircraft to reach higher speeds before takeoff necessitating a longer runway. For example, the other era's supersonic fighter bomber. The F-111's designers incorporated variable geometry, or swing, wings. These allowed the wings to swing out during takeoff to generate maximum lift then tuck inward mid-flight to achieve higher speeds. The F-111 was the first of several major designs to use the technology. The two-man crew sat side by side in a cockpit pod. If they needed to escape, a rocket propelled the pod upward, where it floated to the ground on a parachute, just like a space capsule. The Air Force F-111 seconds did not make an auspicious combat debut. After deploying a detachment of six F-111AS to Vietnam in 1968, Three of them crashed in only 55 missions, all of which were caused by faulty wing stabilizers. 